afternoon, my lovelies. It's time for my second coffee and ah, uh, sorry about the microwave noise. Hubby's having some lasagna, but anyway, I'm having salted egg. This is, I'm not, okay. <laughs> I just found this last week, well actually two weeks ago when I went shopping and I found this and I bought one and I had it and the next day I went back and bought a dozen. What it is, is like a little wafer. So it's a wafer biscuit, sort of, instead of sweet, it's more savory. It's sweet, not really that sweet, but it's more savory, but mm, it tastes like salted eggs. I mean, it really tastes like salted eggs. So I'm actually thinking of cutting up some tomatoes and onion and putting some of this, like crushing it and sprinkling it on the tomato as a salad <laughs> and put it on a sandwich. That would really taste heavenly, I think. So anyway, look, it's really, 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 really nice. Addictive. So, but it's really <laughs> nice. So yes, it is addictive, but not that bad. See, it's beautiful. Look, nice and crunchy and creamy. Do you want some, Pedro? Want some? I'm twisted, Pedro. Pedro doesn't like it. You don't like it, don't you? Huh? You don't like it. Look at him. Okay. Well, anyway. Mmm. Crunch, 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 crunch. I'm going to go and show you my front garden. Ah, your lasagna's ready, well. It's a windy day again. And it sort of comes and goes. And look at that, so... My wind chime is chiming again and we had rain so it's wet the table here but it doesn't matter I'm here to show you my red edge and my Beni Musumi that I pulled out a few months ago at least two months ago that I actually pulled out from the garden because I need to make room for the other side of it. We had so much rain that it started rotting one of the other plants that was in it. So I decided to pull it out, pull the whole thing plant. Let's pull the whole thing out. I did. And this is big. This is quite large, red edge, with lots of babies. Look at that. Oh, and so the back, hang on, I'll just turn this over. You see the back part of it, the plant has etiolated because it's not getting enough sunlight because at the back part that's still in the shadows hang on so you got one two three four babies five I can see hang on just hoping I'm capturing this making a mess here but anyway and one of the babies look has gone albino on me it went half uh, white so it hasn't developed so maybe i'm getting a variegated red edge who knows but anyway so this one is going to be special so i'm just going to be removing that but anyway and with that plant there these are hang on okay sorry these are the other babies it had so how many four one two three four five i can't remember anyway four five six seven eight eight in one plant and two years growth so this is now oh look at that oh sorry i forgot there's another one nine there's a bigger one that i pulled out as well i just forgot so this one now i've been off the soil for two months and it's just starting to grow some roots see this fresh root there so this one now is ready to go in the garden so i will pull them apart of course this one i'm going to separate the maybe variegated one and separate that and put it in a special pot and is there another one see lots two years one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven so maybe almost a dozen babies that this plant produced with this lot as well is this ebony this poor ebony that doesn't look like an ebony anymore but you can see that the leaves already dried up so it ate itself 
off so it's been living off this part this leaf here and the rest of it it's still nice and healthy look now it's ready to put in the garden uh, in my case, I will be putting this in the garden because this is in the shade. What's going to happen? This is going to be uh, burned slightly, but it doesn't matter. It's going to go in the garden and eventually it will grow out of it. So I'm not really too precious with these plants because they're just going to grow in the garden. Where in the garden, they're going to have a better chance of growing really, really fast. By next year, this, say, dozen plant that I have here will multiply that will double its size so at least i'll have two dozen by next year and the two dozen it's sort of multiply exponentially by two years from now i'll probably have a hundred plants now this one on the other hand is beni musumi this beni musumi i pulled out look how many babies it's got oh my goodness but this beni musumi is looking pale because normally beni musumi looks really really nice but in summer when it warms up they lose their color they only color up during autumn and winter so but i have one beni musumi which i suspect might not even be a beni musumi that's colored all year round it's beautiful and the wind's blowing again so anyway so the other hang on oh look what i found here as well my little parpasaram as well. I got a little parpasaram that's growing here. The same thing. So these are all ready to be planted because winter, I don't really do any planting in winter because they're just going to die from the frost. Or in this case, we had so much rain that they're also going to die from the rain. But this one is best that I leave them like this now and then they will just take off. Once they hit the soil and they get watered, they grow really, really fast. I have another red edge here this is the biggest one which I pulled out and so honestly it's about four six weeks uh, no sorry eight no sorry two months and a half that's ten weeks ten weeks I can't even count hang on oh the Sun okay so this plant you can see my hand this is so I'll put my hand together okay and look how big this plant is so, but the bottom, oh, I'm just letting it air dry <laughs> because I'm just sitting, it's been sitting on a pot. And look at the bottom. And the roots, you can see the roots, just started to grow. So I've got a one, two, three, four, five roots that's sort of sticking out those white bits. So they go to sleep when it's cold. So no amount of watering or putting in the soil or <laughs> whatever unless you keep it somewhere inside where it's nice and warm they're going to stop growing or they're not going to grow during winter or when it's cold so this is okay because um, this is a very prolific plant that means they grow really fast and they multiply really quick but uh, they do go dormant when it's cold or during winter ah okay I finished my coffee now let's go outside but before I do I just want to inspect this Echeveria green pearl that's been hiding here so this is a green pearl and this is also hang on come here are you a green pearl or a pearl von Nonberg? this is also a green pearl actually because I planted three green pearls or four no that's a maybe are you a PV? I'm, I'm confused now so I'm not too sure about this one because I saw another green pearl over here with the okay time to clean them up hang on yep that is a PV and the other one because that's more pearl von Nonberg in here in the shade or in the shadow Oh, I've got uh, Ionium starburst, <laughs> um, sunburst, sorry, growing over there. I didn't even uh, notice you. It's being covered by the said various starburst. Anyway, this one now is a green pearl. So again, so very different from the pearl von Nonberg and the green pearl. And I'm glad to see that they're still alive and very frost hardy so these by the way are babies of my red edge or my Echeveria lipstick 
that was harvested this was last year I harvested it or a few months ago and I potted it up and look at the difference with the color so why don't we just go hang on let's take the big one okay the difference of being grown out in the Sun and being grown out in the shade so these two plants are exactly the same age exactly the same plant that came from exactly the same mother <laughs> or at least auntie um, so it came from the same area I harvested it from so but look at the difference so this one is sun grown and that one is being grown in the shade and the one on the right because it's in the shade it's not even flowering and the one on the left I've already taken off some of the flowers because that just encourages mealybug and aphid so I removed it so this is one way of identification as well because someone just commented about identifying a gavoides I can't remember who it was now or which video it is but anyway this one now just shows you that the one on the right is also a red edge and the one on the left is also a red edge came from the same plant or sister or auntie or cousin and yet they look so much different depending on the location that they're grown or kept oh my goodness such a windy windy day you get to have a preview of what my garden looks like after I clean it up I was gonna do a video of how I clean this up but because a lot of you have requested that you want to see the progress but really for the life of me and for the time of me I haven't got it takes so long it takes three four times longer to do to work on this garden so I decided now I'm not going to do a video I'm just going to keep you an update on what it looks like that's sort of like a progress isn't it so anyway it's all nice and clean this section I still have the other section there to do so I might have a walkthrough video as well of how I do it but right now it has came to my attention someone delivered some parcels yesterday and I've noticed this is my Echeveria blueprints that is not looking very well and so now I decided I really have to clean this up so you can see that this is just one plant so last year or a year and a half maybe when I acquired this plant this was only one plant and now look how many babies it's got and this is also a provolone bird that's already badly damaged by the frost and maybe that you're still gonna grow or not it doesn't matter that one's not gonna grow anymore because it's already black but this one I have plenty of PVN inside anyway that I propagated but this one now really needs to be cleaned up so that is looking worse for wear so I just need to pull out all these dry leaves and that will expose some of the babies that are hiding underneath and you can see that there's a lot of babies and today is the best time or at this time as well it's three o'clock in the afternoon and the sun's quite low now and it's not hitting them directly oh my goodness you have formed a bump look what happened to my blueprints it's now a bumpy prince <laughs> it's from a little bump or anyway it looks like a bump isn't it look at that that looks like a bump bending over here is killing my back so I'm just gonna go stand up straight and clean this up and anyway guys while I'm cleaning this up I'm gonna sign off and this way we can have <laughs> uh, so anyway you have a lovely day and i'll see you on the next video oh my goodness my back's killing me okay uh straighten out oh i don't like getting old but i'm gonna get there so we're all gonna get there oh hang on do you have oh it's also flowering okay this one has got a flower which looks like a plant I said goodbye and then now here I go again now this one now is so okay so this is why you gotta watch my video because you don't know, know what's gonna happen <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen see and look at this I've got a nice surprise okay I got a little ant I'm sorry little ant now this one oh, a few more ants they're not very happy 
Okay, so this one is, I'm going to pull this off, okay? So, you can see from that, can we do a close-up because I don't really want to move my camera. So, this one now, what is happening? So, this is another plant. So, I'll just take this off here. Okay, that's nice and clean. Removal, extraction. And, that, and I'm sorry and so this one now is a terminal flower so this looks like a plant but what's gonna happen is if you remove just the tip of it like so and I let it dry well actually I can spray it with my method now uh, even though it's still wet you can spray it with a the method they're fine now I'm just gonna leave it and remove the leaves in the bottom take this inside gently without squashing the tip of the stem and so now I have a plant that I can grow and this might okay so it's not uh, exact science sometimes they grow because the plants got a mind of its own it will do whatever it wants to do so you can say that oh I'm gonna do it this way and this is the outcome no it's not with succulents I find now it throws off everything I know about growing plants because the plant is just they are very independent they don't like being told what to do <laughs> and they have a mind of their own so anyway guys this is it that's it so now i'll just take this inside and oh that one now sorry okay that's already damaged so we can throw that out so and then this one now it's got all this damage although see look i i, I damaged it sorry and I squashed it so this one now I'm gonna throw away and this one I'll keep inside so anyway maybe hopefully I can do uh, a video of update of how or how it's gonna grow into okay guys thank you so much have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next video